The ASEAN Way was declared in Bangkok on August 8, 1967. His Excellency Joseph Gerard B. Angeles, Ambassador of the Philippines to South Africa, hosted a reception to mark the 48th anniversary of ASEAN. Thank you all for coming to join us to celebrate 48 years of the establishment of the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, or ASEAN. As the current chair of the ASEAN Pretoria Committee, I have the honor and privilege to welcome you on behalf of the embassies and high commissions of Indonesia, Malaysia, Myanmar, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam. The ASEAN way, to put it simply, is a unique outlook on life. It is founded on respect for the various cultural norms in Southeast Asia, requiring skillful use of compromise, consensus, and consultation to address challenges and issues. It is informal and personal, and tends to bring people closer together. The ASEAN way also allows ASEAN to communicate with each other, much like closely knit family does, quietly and with confidence. ASEAN's history has not always been smooth sailing, so to speak. Its peoples have undergone chapters that have tested spirit and will time and again, such as the 1997 Asian financial crisis, the 2004 Boxing Day tsunami, and border disputes. ASEAN recently exemplified these values last week. On August 4, 2015, in Malaysia, when the foreign ministers of ASEAN unequivocally expressed concerns for developments in the South China Sea. The foreign ministers expressed the following, and I quote, We discussed extensively the matters relating to the South China Sea and remained seriously concerned over recent and ongoing developments in the area. We took note of the serious concerns expressed by some ministers on the land reclamations in the South China Sea, which have eroded trust and confidence, increased tensions, and may undermine peace, security, and stability in the South China Sea. In South Africa, ASEAN as a group has a substantial economic footprint with trade reaching close to 7.7 .7 billion US dollars. I propose a toast to ASEAN, the peoples of ASEAN, and the peoples of South Africa, and the friendship that binds us all together. The Department Cheers. of International Relations and Cooperation for South Africa spoke of the developing relations between ASEAN and South Africa, speaking of the New Africa Asia Partnership, NASP, as well as the historical Bandung and now, uh, Conference, it is my honor Africa and, and Asia introduce to you closer. A man who actually does not need any introduction in the political, diplomatic, and business community of South Africa, our dear good friend, Dr. Anil Suklal.